Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick and I am back with another banger for you guys. It's a beautiful day here in Sacramento, California. We're enjoying <laughs> life. Um, we got another banger coming for you guys. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we did it. We picked up some apexes for the 135. Finally, <laughs> bro. Honestly, guys, I've been like thinking about it so so much about going with the ARC eights. Are they ARC eights? I I've heard people go both ways, ARC eights or ARC eights. I okay. call them ARC eights. Anyways, ARC eights, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, guys, we picked them up in hyper black. Uh, these are the same ones I actually test fitted on my 135. I'd say about two weeks, three weeks ago. Yeah, like two weeks. Uh, I test fitted Johnny's wheels on. I posted these wheels on. Instagram and my post absolutely went crazy all of you guys hit me up about it I had like over 100 DMS everyone's like oh my gosh what are those wheels what are you what is your setup what is your offset blah blah, blah back and forth so I was like man honestly I have to go with this there's no way I'm not buying these wheels so um, yeah guys honestly I love the Kose's I love the setup I have on right now um, I am planning to possibly keep it as like a track setup. I might also just be selling them just to get some money back from this But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you guys want to buy them So these are the bad boys that we picked up today I did get one of the tires already mounted because I didn't want to test how the tire is gonna sit in terms of it's too stretched or if it's too meaty and Johnny take a look at this. Bro, that looks so so good. Yes, the, the fitment is literally like perfect. It's flat It's got a little bit of like a lip protection. So uh, Honestly, I love this fitment the most I have the same fitment running for the Kose's and I absolutely love it guys. So these are 235, uh, 4018. So I'm gonna run 235s in the front uh, for the back. We went with 265, those are 265, 35. So uh, 40s in the front, 35s in the back. That's usually how they run on BMW. Yeah. Honestly, I don't understand why, but uh, I believe that like if you go wider, it, the, the wider the tire, I believe they become thicker. So yeah, it's a little bit interesting how it works. And honestly, I'm such a geek when it comes to like, <laughs> tires i love to have just the perfect fitment for them so so i did go with eight and a halfs in the front and i went with nine and a halfs in the back that is one of the recommended specs um on the apex website so i do have my fenders rolled i know a lot of you guys asked me about that i do have my fenders rolled it is a little bit complicated to roll them especially in the one series uh you definitely want to find somebody that's experienced in rolling bmw fenders because they can mess up your paint pretty bad and they can mess up your fenders so yeah guys pretty much um i do have the specs right here eight by nine point five with a 58 millimeter offset and um, the rear those are the rears actually and the front ones have a 45 millimeter offset with eight and a half in the front so uh, pretty much essentially we're doing one inch difference uh, in terms of width and uh, the offsets are pretty high uh, that is just how it goes for the one series honestly I've never ordered wheels with such high offsets so I, <laughs> I hope the fitment is gonna be great guys I hope it's gonna turn out great but um, we're gonna take the rims and tires to uh, NAS at ProTech the guys that do all our work. <laughs> Literally. All right, guys, we'll catch you there. Let's do it. Ooh, it's <laughs>
Alright guys, so we just got back from uh, ProTech. We got the tires on. The rear tires fit absolutely amazing. I'm just so happy guys. I can't <laughs> wait to install this. So let's just get into the installation. This front fitment looks so good. Bruh. It's legit flush. Dude. Bro. Look at this. Guys, <laughs> check that. I feel like, oh, I, need a, I, feel like I need three mil spacers or something in the back though, look. You might need a little bit of spacers or might, maybe just lower it a little bit. Yeah, no, you need spacers. I need like three mils. I think five mils are gonna be too much. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a little bit inside. Guys, we might have to inside. order three mils for the backside, but I did leave the uh, the five mils in the front, um, just because I test fitted it. Well, I threw on the wheel, I could tell right away that it's gonna sit inside. So I put the five mils on this one, and I put the, I threw the wheel on. I could tell right away it's gonna be too out. Yeah, I, I went through that. <laughs> overall, it looks freaking amazing. Bro, it looks so good. Moment of truth. How does this back end look? Bro, I think the five mils are actually good. Oh, it looks actually really good. That actually looks perfect. It actually does look really good. It's not it's not sitting in too much and it's not poking. Yeah. Oh wow bro. Wow. Yeah, I think five mils in the back are worth it. Johnny, this is like my favorite set ever on a 135. Like it's a dream come true, bro. <laughs> to see these wheels on a 135 is like I don't know bro. I'm getting emotional out here. <laughs> Let's install that five mil. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that'll pretty much conclude this video. Honestly, I freaking love these wheels. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, like, I'm as excited as you could get. Honestly, I just, I, I love the Kozes. Don't get me wrong. I love the Kozes a lot. But they were 17s, and it, it made the car, like, the wheels were too small for the car. So uh, these 18s definitely help change the look up a lot. Definitely. It makes it a lot more aggressive, and that's what I'm definitely going for because the 135s are pretty small, and your goal is to kind of make them aggressive. So I got a really nice diffuser coming for the car next, guys. Uh, definitely stay tuned for that. I know I have a lot of you guys asking me what am I going to do for the rear end. Uh, in terms of like bumper diffuser so i'll be installing that soon stick around for that but but yeah guys uh make sure to check me out on instagram uh check johnny out on instagram behind the camera i'll leave our instagrams right here uh be sure to subscribe to my channel be sure to subscribe to johnny's channel as well hope you guys enjoying this content i know i haven't been posting much 135 content but i'm back with it peace <laughs> Yo. Yo. 
all the energy in the world. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, what is going? <laughs> no, bro, no, I'm screwed. Oh, these things look good, dude. These actually do look good. It's a shame, really, that it's we have to throw them away. Really? <laughs> you know what I said? Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. I still love you. Till the end. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how it goes. Is that how it goes? I don't know, bro. <laughs>